Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the pituitary gland. Those who are new to my channel, you are most welcome. You can consider to subscribe me. Let's start our histology of the pituitary gland. This gland is a content of the hypophyseal fossa in Shella tarsica of spanoid bone that is a part of the middle cranial fossa at the base of the skull. We have two components. One is the anterior pituitary, another is the posterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary has the pars distalis, has the components, the pars distalis, pars intermedia, and pars tuberalis. The posterior pituitary has two parts. One is the pars nervosa and the infundibular stalk. The anterior pituitary, posterior pituitary, both are developed from the ectoderm. The posterior pituitary developed from the floor of the hypothalamus as a part of the neuroectoderm. And the anterior pituitary develops from the Rathke's pouch. Okay, so before going to the histological structure, we must emphasize on the blood supply and hypothalamo hypophysial system. The pituitary gland has rich blood supply from the branches of the internal carotid artery. We have two sets of capillaries. So it is a portal system. And we have the capillaries, these are fenestrated. We have also the sinusoids. So what happens? From the hypothalamus, some hormones are going through the infundibulum and end up in the neurohypophysis. And from the hypothalamus, another group of hormones, those are either releasing factor or inhibitory factor, go to the portal system and they regulate the secretion of the anterior pituitary. Other group of hormones are produced in the anterior pituitary and hypothalamus controls them by means of the negative feedback mechanism. Pituitary gland is also called master gland, also called hypophysis. So this is a histological section slide of a pituitary gland in low magnification. We have the pars distalis part of the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis. This is the pars intermedia, pars tuberalis. These are parts of the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis. This is a nervous tissue, the infundibulum, infundibular stalk here, and this is the pars nervosa. These are derived from the neuroectoderm from the floor of the hypothalamus. In the pars distalis and also pars tuberalis, you get some acidophil cell, basophil cells. They have specific hormone is released from them, okay? As for example, from the acidophil, we'll get the growth hormone and also the lactogenic hormone, like that of the prolactin, okay? So if you go at the functions of he, here, we'll put the function. The acidophil cell, this is present in the pars distalis, part of the anterior pituitary. And for acidophil cell, we get the hormone prolactin and the growth hormone. Growth hormone work on the bone, muscles, and also in the adipose tissue. And prolactin work on the, on the breast. 
we have the hormone from the basophin sense, the follicle stimulating hormone. We have the luteinizing hormone that will stimulate the ovulation. We have the hormone interstitial cell of lady is stimulated by that hormone. That is the luteinizing hormone in male. Okay. We have the thyroid stimulating hormone that is coming from the basophil cell. It takes the basic dye, so it is basophil. It is bluish color. Basophil is reddish color. It takes the acid dye. We'll get the ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone that work on the adrenal cortex. We have the thyroid stimulating hormone that work on the thyroid gland to produce T3, T4. From the from the posterior pituitary, from the pars nervosa, we have the hormone, the antidiuretic hormone, also called vasopressin, that is essential to maintain the, the fluid balance. It works on the distal convoluted table and the collecting duct of the nephron. It is also a vasoconstrictor. It is also called vasopressin. Oxidation work on the myopithelial cell of the breast to eject the milk. Oxidation also work in the uterus, especially during the labor process. It contract the uterine muscle and help to get the baby out of the birth passage. We have the posterior pituitary. This is the adjuncts here. The hormone is produced by the hypothalamus, by supraoptic nucleus, paraventricular nucleus. Paraventricular nucleus produces oxytocin. Supraoptic nucleus produces antidiuretic hormone. And along the axon, those hormones are coming to the posterior pituitary and they are stored in the neurosecretory body. We call it herring body. And from there, it will release to the capillary and sinusoid. So this is endocrine gland. It has no duct. We have the plenty of fenestrated capillary and sinusoids. So hormone will go to the blood directly. Okay. The parts distal is of the pituitary gland. We have the cell, acidophil cell, acidophil cell. We have the basophil cell, basophil cell. This is the basophil cell. They, they pick up the basic dye. Acidophil collects the acid dye. They like the acid dye. And the chromophobe cell. The chromophobe cell has no granule. It may be the precursor of other cells. And it has no other significance. We have capillaries and sinusoids. These are fenestrated. Okay. So we'll go to the pars intermedia. Pars intermedia is present between the pars nervosa and pars distalis. Between the, it is a part of the adenohypophysis, close to the neurohypophysis here. And it is composed of some cyst with colloid and it is rudimentary in human and it has some follicle those are weakly basophily in human and other mammal its role is not very important but in fish and the amphibian this pars intermedia produces the melanocyte stimulating hormone So this is the pars nervosa, part of the posterior pituitary gland. And it is composed of the axons, unmyelinated axons. Those come here from the hypothalamus. The cell body is present in the supraoptic nucleus and paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus. And the secretion is going through the axon and end up in the neurosecretory bodies, we also call herring bodies. And these axons are unmyelinated axons. They are supported by branched 
astrocyte like neuroglial cell we call them pituitocyte these are the nucleus of the pituitocyte so this is the neurosecretory body or heading body this is pituitocyte this is the capillary and these are the unmyelinated axon that came from the supraoptic and paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus and this axon carry the hormone antidiuretic hormone and the oxytocin antidiuretic hormone is also called vasopressin okay so this will be our, our acknowledgement before going to the acknowledgement i like to highlight the identifying point we have the adenohypophysis and the neurohypophysis anterior pituitary posterior pituitary anterior pituitary has three parts pars distalis pars intermedia pars tubularis pars tubularis also releases the follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone pars distalis has acidophil cell basophil cell and also the chromophob cells the axons from the supraoptical paraventricular nucleus in the posterior pituitary is supported by the branched neuroglial cell called pituitocyte and that's all about the histology of the pituitary gland so if you like my video please consider to subscribe me and have a nice day bye now